Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so, um, launching the engines. Uh, I hope you guys are liking the last couple episodes. Um, you know, the construction episode and, uh, the Midmiss, uh, communication satellite. Um, I kind of, th that was kind of a more of, uh, you know, somebody really wanted to see that. And I don't know why, but for some reason, um, I might have to re-upload that video. For some reason, I'm having a problem watching it. At least on my computer, I don't know what's going on. Um, but it tends to freeze up at certain points. I don't know. Um, I had a problem with data transfer of that video. And I don't know if that had anything to do with the fact that it, uh, at some points, gets messed up. But it might have to be a re-uploaded video. Uh, you know, I might have to just, you know, whatever, whatever, we'll, we'll figure it out, guys. So, uh, yeah, um, I kind of wanted to cover the construction of this thing and, you know, kind of point, uh, other people who are also happening to building, eh, who also happen to be building these kinds of ships, um, you know, I, I want to point you in the right direction because it, is a bit of a chore to build something like this only to get it to space and it's a complete turd and failure it, it, it just kind of sucks so you know uh, building these things really isn't that hard but in the same respect it also is pretty extensive uh, you know putting forth a ton of time for something to not work really does just kind of suck and um, I'm gonna start my turn a little bit earlier because this thing I have had a few problems with it so far and I don't want to deal with having to shoot 20 videos in order to get this thing into space so yeah a um, few new subscribers and everything else I've been pretty happy about every the way everything's been going um, everyone's been pretty supportive and pretty happy and all that other good stuff which um you know i really appreciate I, I really love that there's always some new person on my channel every day like oh my god your videos are amazing my g-forces are insane right now that's full engines wow um this engine shouldn't have been firing but whatever i'll just bring it all the way back up uh, you know we do have a very high amount of speed right now so it's it's not a bad thing that it already fired. Um, I just didn't fix the staging apparently. So, just making sure we got. Um, yeah, I'm just making sure that this rocket is actually space worthy. Um, yeah, I know it's a little too late to be doing that, but uh, you know, I didn't actually check this rocket before I launched it 100%. I mean, I knew it had. Um, the basic things that I was looking for, which are, um, you know, the thermal gens, and uh, I checked the SAS just to make sure, um, you know, it has an SAS module and the, the RCS ports are all properly aligned. That's pretty much all I checked, but sometimes I end up missing out on a stage or something like that, and uh, all kinds of good stuff happens. It's always fun and interesting, because this game is fun and interesting. And it really, really likes to see you scream. That, that, that I might definitely have to say. Uh, but that is because it's a sadist. But anyways, um, yeah. Definitely going to get these engines on here. It's going to be a little bit of a trip, guys. Um, you know, honestly, I have to launch four separate launches for these engines. And, you know, it's not going to be something that happens overnight. So there might be a few videos in between, uh you know, when I actually attach these engines and uh, when we actually launch and everything else. But good news. I mean, geez, we're on our 99th video, our 99th episode, I should say. I mean, sure, I've already made over 100 Kerbal Space Program episodes, but um, yeah, I mean, almost 100. I kind of think I should do this as quick as I possibly can. I don't know. You guys can tell me, but I think I should do this as quick as I possibly be can, can, because how cool would it be to launch a HAB module to land on Duna as my 100th episode? I just think that's amazing. So, you know, um, you guys let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll 
try to work my butt off to get this thing done. You know, once again, I said I don't know if I'll be able to finish it, but um, I'll try. You know, I'll, I'll really freaking try. But we'll see what we can get. All right. Um, now, I'm going to just fix the ascending nodes and all that, uh, the uh, inclination for right now. Um this really shouldn't be too much of a problem and uh, yeah so uh, what else has um, been new I mean I've been reading a lot on the Kerbal Space Program forums which you know once again I know a lot of you guys um, you know a lot of you guys are new to the game and stuff like that you've never you know you've only maybe gotten stuff in orbit or maybe you've landed on the moon or you know you've just gone as far as the Kerbal system but um definitely check out the Kerbal Space Program forums because not only is it a good idea just to go there to see um you know some other designs and stuff like that for your own sake because I mean for me um going there in the very beginning kind of helped me out with certain things not to mention there's like challenges and stuff like that that kind of get put up there which some of them happen to be kind of interesting one of them happened to be uh getting to orbit with ion engines and if you guys notice my um one of my older episodes which I think it's like maybe around the the 40s or 30s it, it's called the solar bird which um is basically as far as i could possibly ever get with an ion engine i got up to about 11,000 uh or was it 11 meters or 11 kilometers yeah like that was about as good as i could get uh, 11 kilometers and that was you know it, it would just top out i ended up falling asleep while it was flying and it, it crashed into the ground um, that's basically how boring launching that thing was. Whoa, there we go, perfect. And, uh, yeah, so let's, I'm gonna bring this out. I think this thing is somewhere around, uh, 500? What? What is this? Oh, no, this, that's the distance. What am I, I'm crazy. Um... 217, I think maybe around 220 should be good. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm just guessing. So let's see. Add a maneuver and how much of a burn do we need to do? It's probably not going to be much. What's amazing is uh, I'm in orbit and I still have my the skipper engine, which it's actually, you know, one thing I will say too, uh, it definitely is worth having. Um, it's a pretty good engine as far as like what you're trying to do with it because uh, you get a little bit better efficiency. It's not a lot, but you get just a slight, slightly better efficiency on this engine. So 214. Okay, yeah, I was just trying to see what that was going to bring it to. So um, it, you know, it's a slightly better engine. It's not going to increase your delta v taking off or anything like that by a crazy amount but you know it's a uh, definitely you know it's about two tons less in uh, weight as far as engines are concerned and that's actually pretty good and it's uh it's about one third of the power i think or maybe half i i, I can't honestly tell you i, I think it's like 650 uh, I could probably just, you know, do something like this, and, you know, you guys would know. Um, yeah, it, the specific impulse is a little bit higher once you're in space, as far as the engines are concerned, considering, like, the mainsail is, like, insane, but, you know, that's, uh, that's another story. And I shouldn't even be doing this burn, even with this skipper engine, it really is, uh, kind of excessive, so. Turn on the... SAS and just do that burn real quick. I just want to bring this up to a little bit higher. That's all we need. And Dauge, you were awful. Now I want to see what happens if I were to increase this just a little bit more. It might work out in our favor where it might bring these nodes a little bit closer together. 
And, uh, yeah, I think I was correct. Slightly. Maybe. Hopefully. Dauge, you are not going to play Kerbal Space Program. You do not have the opposable thumb to use my mouse, Dauge. Just, no. Yeah, 0.2 kilometers, uh, I am going to go for it. Uh, you know, I don't think, uh, that this is a bad idea. By any means. Oh, God. Not paying attention. Um, wow. Yeah, 0.1 kilometer. I'm, I'm okay with that. That is definitely... What's well, a 100 meters away? Yeah, I think that's um, more than more than enough. And we still have this big freaking stage on here. I don't know why. Uh, I could probably decouple almost everything right now if I wanted. But um, that I'm just not going to do that. That's insane. And I am not a silly man. I, I don't try to produce any silliness but whatever uh yeah so let's see what we get here like always um definitely getting close i don't think our uh, target is going to be that bad but hopefully it isn't you know what let's get rid of the stage right now there's no point in keeping it so Bring this around um, but yeah so um, one thing I definitely got to say I think I just said it before but I definitely love in all the comments and all the just overall supportive things and just awesome people that you guys are um, commenting me and you know just you know letting me know that you know even if it's nothing serious you're like you know oh your design is awesome whatever blah 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 you know, I just, I love reading that kind of stuff, so it's, it's pretty awesome. To me, it's, it's pretty awesome reading that kind of stuff. It, it makes you feel a little bit better about what you do. Oh, God. Get away from it. We're gonna bump into the stage. Yeah, just, excuse me. Um, excuse me, stage. Holy crap. Yeah, that, wow. Go, 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 go. Um, yeah, that was me being distracted. Wow. Oh, <laughs> uh, failure. That's not that bad. Um, no, no, I was just distracted by the stage. I was freaking so close. I didn't want to bump into it or anything and destroy this whole mission. That would have really, really sucked. So... But yeah, this is going to be one of the, one of four engine blocks, basically, that are going to be added. And uh, hopefully it all works out. Um, I know that uh, I want this thing to be, have as much symmetry as possible. I know it's not going to be 100%, but um, I'm just going to try my best as it is. So whatever we can get, that's what we will get, you know, so can't really do anything about it and uh, you know it hopefully it all works out for the best that's all I can say works out for the best and uh, definitely gets us to Duna like I said I did not test out this design so I don't know how faithful it's going to be and if it's going to really do the trick all right there we go um, I'm just gonna line this up a little bit more I know it's gonna add some speed but whatever I actually I'm going to flip around right now because we are flying at this thing right now by the time I flip around we're already gonna be passing it so wait nope I don't want to be burning that way I want to be pushing this thing towards the center oh man gotta love docking gotta love it there we go. Um, stop it right there for a second. And uh, the magical forces that stop you in space, I swear. The minute that the time warp starts, it's amazing stuff, I tell you. 
I tell you, man. Alright, so we should be going towards our targets. No lights or anything like that, and none of that fancy stuff, which is kind of would help if I had some, but yeah, whatever. Oh, and that's awesome. We basically um, pulled up like behind this thing, so we can set our target, and I'm going to just you know bleed off whatever speed that we are we currently have and then I'm going to make an approach and dock up this thing is starting to get um, the frame rate is starting to drop a little bit I think I don't know yeah it is a little bit just looking at it so I, I think it has something to do with the fact that I ha still haven't updated yet and I did read something that uh, the update itself, like, it's supposed to optimize something that, uh, apparently I am unaware of, so, we will see, um, I'm probably gonna try to do that tonight, you know, another thing, too, is when you build stuff like this, uh, docking starts to become less of, it, it starts to become harder, it, it's overall just becomes harder, and that's what she said. Um, it really does get annoying to start docking things when your frame rate starts to take a dump. Um, I know some of you guys who don't happen to have, like, you know, really super great computers can also vouch for that. It's, it gets a little, the harder, the, the lower your frame rate is, the harder it is to dock. The harder it is to do a lot of things in this game, just because of the frame rate just freaking out. I mean, I remember on my old laptop, um, if you look at one of my first videos, which one of my first videos happens to be, um, basic, uh, it was the little engine that could, um, it's a rocket that was, I got an LV-1 rocket, which is the little rocket for uh, ants, if you want to call it that. Yeah, I got that, I got a, um, rocket into space um well a payload into space using nothing but the lv1 engines and i uh, i do have to say once you have that many parts it becomes just absolutely insane well what am i doing all right yeah i was trying to go left and instead i was um pushing forth So I'm going to dock this thing up and then bring it over to the light side and then I'm going to uh, undock and line it up better. That way uh, everything will be lined up ever so perfectly and we don't have to worry about anything. I can't see anything right now because I am docking but um, I'm just lining up with the node and that is all I'm doing and just keeping it lined up the best I can. That's when you're docking on the dark side, that's all you can do is just keep it centered up the best you can. That's the best advice I can give you. So I believe we just collided, and but it is docking up right now. And it doesn't really look like I'm going to have to do much correction, but we'll see what happens. So let's get on the light side. And, um, you know, it almost is perfect, to be honest. I, I really don't see any correction that I really need to be doing but I'm going to tr what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up with these and I'm just going to have the engines lined up with with the hab module whatever you want to call it um, hopefully this thing doesn't rock either because that's the one thing I'm going to start getting concerned about is the rocking of the structure so I'm going to turn on SAS and I'm going to undock this piece and it should have SA. Oh, no, it doesn't. That's weird. So I'm going to start rotating this a little bit. And then turn on RCS. There we go. Just kind of lock it into place. I'm going to turn on RCS again, actually. And I'm going to... Whoa. Yeah, that's not good.
Um, okay, so... Turn off SAS. Alright, no, yeah, yeah, um... Let's see here. I need to roll this thing a little bit more. And I need to... Oh! All the controls are backward! I'm just kidding. Um, Alright, so... I think this is... I gotta put a little bit more distance between us and then pull it forth. I think that's good enough. I'm gonna bring it back up just for another docking, just to line it back up again. And I think that should be good. Uh, let's see. I don't know how well the magnetism works with these. I should really turn on the chase cam. That that probably would solve some of my problems. All right, so. I am kind of grinding on this thing, which isn't a good idea, but, oh god. I'll set this as a target again, since we're basically going to have to redock. Check the RCS fuel real quick, too, um, just to make sure we don't run out because that would not be a good thing guys uh, I would definitely have to relaunch because of that so it would be a little bit of a crappy situation so speed it back up here um, I really want to bring the butt end of this thing around but it's not uh, it's not going to do that I don't think so let's push it forth we need to line up a little bit better. You know, when you're docking, you're better off just looking at this and just not looking at your craft at all because that's only going to screw you up. Uh, that's one of my major tips with docking, too, is just pay attention to your nav ball. Don't look at this because this isn't going to help you so much. Looking at this and trying to make sure they're all lined up and, you know, sitting there going like this, is it's not going to do anything. It, it really is not. If you look at this... Once you get close enough, you'll see that these start to shift around and everything, and that is good enough. You don't need to, um, you know, freak out about all this stuff and everything else. And you can see I'm still off by a little bit, which I'm going to fix it one more time on camera. Or at least try. Uh, fix it or die trying. That's, I guess that could be the slogan. Fix it or die trying. So turn on SAS just once more, and we will switch craft. No RCS this time. I'm just going to use the Magical Space Forces, and I think that should be good. And turn on SAS, RCS back up, and this should be really easy to do. And by the way, I left this stage on here because I'm going to be using this. Um, I know it's not, you know, if you look, it's almost the exact same stage overall. It, there's no difference between these two pieces here. And I'm going to leave that on there because, uh, you know, it, it has RCS, it has fuel. Uh, you know, if you look at this, I'm going to transfer fuel from here to there. And that stage is going to be used to basically push us out of uh, Kerbin orbit, hopefully. So I'll slow down a little bit and should be a nice smooth docking which it was, even though it's starting to rock around a little bit. So I'm going to transfer fuel out of this stage because it will be decoupled, and that will be used for all, everything. Um, you know, this, hopefully, I, I don't really know how well it's going to work. It is kind of a inefficient engine, so I will transfer all this RCS out. And uh, yeah, so we got our first engine attached. Hopefully, um, like I said before, there is no problem with the symmetry. Otherwise, I will be a little angry. Uh, I did use some RCS in here. Um, you see, I transferred some into here, which, I mean, I don't really need all of that. So, I mean, I, I'll, I could just fill this one up. And, you know, whatever is in here will probably be more than enough. So, let's... This engine, 
uh, is worthless. So we'll decouple this. And we'll turn off SAS and turn on RCS. And we'll give it a little push. Just uh, a little one. Just to separate them out. Turn off RCS. And then that will be more than enough over time to push them away. It looks like they're going to collide. Which isn't a good thing. Oh, now it's going a different way. And they're inside of each other. I'm surprised that's not exploding yet. Well, anyways, guys, we got our first engine on. Uh, you know, it isn't probably perfectly lined up, but I'm just going to line it up with these, so whatever. Um, that should work out. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, you know, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Check out the Facebooks and the Twitter. Um, and, uh, yeah, I will see you next time.